Hey guys, it's episode one of my new Skyrim series, and as you can see, it's not just any old Skyrim. I'm playing the Predators of Lost Tribes mods by Roland113. Um, I've decided to start off with no gear, and I've got my little notepad next to me. So, so I've sorted the episodes into parts, so this part, I'm just going to find armor, weapons, and go kill some things first. Right, so first of all I'm going to edit the appearance I think, yep, that's it. Right. You, there's three types of um, Yalcha or more commonly known as Predators. There's, you've got your classics then you've got if you've ever watched Predators, these are the um, Super or Berserker Predators. And then these are the actual original models that were made to begin with. But he's decided to keep them as the Bad Blood Predator race. But I'm going to go with the Classic to begin with. You can be male or female. As you can tell, the skins and the textures are really, really well done. Um, you can't m edit too much on at the moment, you can edit the skin textures and stuff like but I think I'm going to go with the original skin tone and if you're going to be a predator you've got to be bulky there's not too much you can edit, um, you can do the eyes, eye colour that's cool, one wrist and eye and you've got the fiery super predator eyes but that's just creepy. I'm gonna go with the um, normal yellow eyes, I think. Eventually, I think he's planning on doing like different mandibles and stuff, so that you can make them look really unique. All right, I'm gonna check out the hairs first. Mm, not keen on that one. Too sure. You got the top knot hair, the long braid hair, red that looks like dip dyed hair, the long dip dyed hair. This is, I think, this is the unbraided. It's supposed to have sort of like a grey tint to it, so, like for an elder predator. But I think I'm gonna go with the long braided, and I'm just gonna go ahead and call him Hunter. Just because. Right. Ooh. First of all, we're gonna whip out this book. So that's updated the map to show locations of drop pods and stuff. So I can go and find a little bit of gear to get started. Right, because right at the moment I'm running around naked. Um. Let's check the map. Ah, we don't want to. We don't want to go to any of the um, camps just yet, or where there's going to be a lot of other predators because it's such a low level. I'm not really going to last very long. I think. Yeah, there was there's a drop pod just outside the exit to Helgen, so I'm going to go and see what loot's there for me to collect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some armour and then eventually craft it into the new combat armour that has just been released in the newest version of the mod. Oh, there we go. It's not hard. You cannot miss. You can't miss it really, can you? It actually looks like a proper predator. Ooh, what's happened to this guy? Ow. You lay in the wrong place, mate. Ooh, I've got another book. I won't bore you all by reading all the way through that, but I think I'm going to take that book. Noisy thing. Right. Oh, there's another book. Ah. 
I'll take that book as well. Right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, two scar arms are name. I'm gonna take oh. Blade of Sandal. Biomask. I might as well take the books. I'm, I think I'm just gonna take everything at the moment. Yeah. Okay, sit right. Let's equip this gear and see how it looks. Ooh, pretty cool actually. Oh, I like the, like the detail on the wire masks. So cool. Now I need some gauntlets or something because at the moment the um yeah the, the blade looks silly without having any gauntlets on, so I'm gonna have to go and find another Oh, I think there's one over there. Yeah, I've, I've played this. I've been playing this mod for a while, so I kind of know where everything is to begin with. I think the armor is really well done because it's it, it it's supposed to look a bit battered and age worn because but the whole thing of with the um, lost tribes is. The predator has been stranded on this planet for, also known as um, Norn, the planet that Tamriel's on. Um, it's, yeah, it's supposed to have been. I forgot what I was going to say then. It's supposed to have been. Um, we've been stranded on here for hundreds or maybe thousands of years, so the armor's got a bit rusty and dusty since then. Right, so I have managed to find a way around, and what I found in this bad boy here was um, the classic hunter's predator mask damn those rabbits they keep scaring me um, some wrist blade and um, combat leg armor so that saves me having to craft that and another chopper blade that goes on the right arm but I've gone for the wrist blades and as you can hear it's got cool sound effects to it however I I need more than just that, so I'm going to find another another drop pod and then I shall come back to you. Oh, yeah, also, before I go, I managed to get cloak, cloaking upgrades, power supplies, shoulder cannon bar, shoulder cannon pack, so I'm pretty close to getting the shoulder cannon but I'm not going to complete that until um, part 3 when we hunt the xenomorphs and stuff so right we'll be back with you when I find another drop pad I have heard on the grapevine that there are a number of drop pods and there's a big derelict ship um, just north of Windhelm, so I'm gonna check that out, I think. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that is it, yes. You can't really miss it, but in the snowstorm it's hard to see from a bit away, but you can. Ooh, go away, I don't like orcas. But, yep, here's the ship. Right, I'm gonna go in and uh, see what's cracking. Whee! Right. Oh, who are these? You have questions. Oh god. Scary yeah, voice. It is our most favorite. Ooh, let's see what she's got for sale. Oh, oh wow. That looks cool. Oh wow. Like the dragon piece mask. Geranium. Geranium nanoplate kit. What? There's no way I could afford that. Oh, that's what I need. No, it's, is it what I need? No, it isn't. What I need is the repair kits and stuff. Damn, but they cost a lot as well. That's a cool mask. I like that mask. Right. 
You have questions. Let's just go and check out what we can and can't make. Let's have a little look through all the masks. The Mark III masks make completely invisible. I think we're going to upgrade my Hunter mask to a Mark III. Oh yeah. This is the what the armor that I'm going for, the um, combat armor. There's a bit of a bug at the moment, so I prefer the light coloured armor to this dark coloured. But the dark combat armor is actually the light one, which is a bit strange. Ooh, the leggings. I'm not sure I have to go for the full chest or half chest, because they both look equally as cool as you will see in a later episode, but not just yet. Wolf Fire Mask looks really cool. I'm not too keen on the um, geranium ones, but on, on certain, certain biomass, but they look really cool and others like that looks really cool. It's like a zombie predator head face. This one's off, um, I think it's off Concrete Jungle, yeah, Concrete Jungle. The one that's like the sniper. The bad blood. I think anyone who is a fan of the Alien series will know what that is. That's cool. The farm mask. I feel like they were made for predators. See, that looks cool. That's your take back. I love the geranium ones are cool. I like them. Right. Let's just see. Zoom through all these. Oh, power shield. I will show you that one day. The shoulder cannon. We actually only need the cannon recoil assembly for that, which I think can be found in the in the um, temple that we'll visit in part three, or maybe even the end of part two. I'm not too sure. Ceremony and javelin. Ceremony and javelin. See, look, that's that's the look I want. You can't sit, tell with the half vests and stuff, but it's basically just shop. That bit off, and then you've got the one side. Looks pretty cool, I think. We've already got the combat leg armor, so we don't need that. What we need is some gauntlets. Yes, I think I'm gonna gonna make that. And I'll show you how it works. Wow, that was loud. I like the sound effects. The sound effects actually with um, the Predator Sounds and Shouts mod, which I'll link along with the Lost Tribes mod in the description below. They look cool. I like the war axes. Right. I'll just show you how this mask works. It basically just super boosts your um, your uh, sneak ability whilst turning you invisible at the same time. See? That is so cool. Practically completely invisible. It also works when you run. Oh, cool sound effects again. Right. Let's go and check some of these drop pods out. I'll be back later to um, a little more of a look around the uh, derelict ship. So, after scouring the northern shoreline for various drop pod sites, which I'm not going to give away too much to you, but they're around this general area, um, I've retreated back to the derelict ship to um, see what I can upgrade and show you what I've got so far. As you can see, I've got I've managed to get the heavy corners. I've got scout armor without netting. Yep, I've picked up a quite a few other things as well. Geranium light braces. Weapons. I got some new weapons. I think I'm gonna go with the dual wielding the chopper blades. I always like the chopper blades. If anyone's ever seen Inverse Predator the first one, they're the blades which the first predator dies has them, which is a bit sad because you don't really get to use them in that film. I think they killed them off a bit too quick. 
I got a um, combi sick and a copesh sword. Still, I uh, have to find the power thing for the power fist. So, right, let's see what I can upgrade and what I need left to upgrade to certain armor. Ooh, well, I can make dark combat leg armor. I found a geranium. I can make a geranium hunter's mass mark three. Scout armor. Right, I just want to see what the uh, what it takes to make the combat armor. Come on. Oh, where's the com? Oh, they've gone past the combat armor. Right, the combat armor I need light armor and four steel ingots. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and find half vests. Two steel ingots. I only need two steel ingots for the half vest one. I think I'm gonna go for the full combat armor for me and um, fight with these xenomorphs. But I need to find some light armor first, so time to kill some bandits. Right, so I've managed to track down some bandits all the way to this nice little camp just north north west of Whiterun. Just gonna sneak up on one or two and give these weapons a little test I think. Ooh. I need to get a, a higher jump in there for the present. Right. I think at the moment the weapons. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Kill moves just look so much more epic. Predator weapons and being a predator. Ooh. I think that's a little cave we can go into down here. So yeah, basically, I need to keep an eye on traps and stuff. Oh, this guy doesn't know what's coming. Ah, chopped him. I'm just gonna go in like a warrior. Oh, oh yeah. He's got, he's got the key to the door. As you can probably tell, I've probably, I have done this before I've been into this little camp, so I kind of know where everything is. Hmm. I think, just two down, right. Probably a little face off of the bandit chief. Yo dog. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Whoa. That's all you got. Is that your best? Oh. Oh. Gosh. He's getting some good hits on me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. So, as you can see, the weapons are pretty damn badass at a low level, I think. When you get to a higher level, they become a bit, a bit useless. But the um, all for the mods, like putting, going to be putting upgrades and stuff in so that you can keep them pretty, pretty competitive with the other weapons in the game. Because really, they're, they're made. They're supposed to be made of an indestructible alloy and like the strongest metal in the universe or whatever. So really, they would be able to cut through other things like butter and stuff, so it only makes sense for them to stay a bit overpowered. To be fair. Oh, this poor mammoth. What have they done to you? Blah. That's some thick blood there. Right, enough of that. So that's it for the first part. The next one we will be crafting combat armor and I'll do a bit of speed leveling up in between so that I'm at a decent enough level to challenge the xenomorphs without being killed too quickly because there are a lot to kill in the temple. Right, thanks for watching guys.
the second part should be out at the same time next week. Like and subscribe. Thank you.